Can you imagine if there was no public transportation in your community? How would you get to school, work, or even the grocery store? State Representative Roberta Abdul Salam led a meeting in the city of Lovejoy to discuss Clayton County's new transit strategy plan. There had been uh, some futuristic looks before we went into the cuts um, to even expand the routes, which is so greatly needed in this community. And that's one of the questions that the citizens have is what are you going to do with all that extra money? Well, really and truly, the need in this county is so great, there really won't be a whole lot of extra money if we do it the right way. Public transportation service in Clayton County helped more than 2 million residents get around last year until it stopped on March 31st. Paul Grather details the next step after a strategic plan is presented to MARTA's Board of Directors. Once the MARTA Board adopts it, um, it then triggers with a 60-day clock. And that 60-day clock is not only for the Clayton County Board of Commissioners to approve that amendment, but also for two of the three existing signatories and existing jurisdictions, parties to that contract, to approve. More than 100 counties and towns in Georgia provide some form of local mass transit. If transit service is not restored, many citizens will lose their employment and possibly housing. Your contribution to the Vote for Transit campaign will help drive home the message that combining buses and rail transit will attract environmentally friendly economic development. Reporting for Sevenfold News, I'm Chandon Marzette.